We started in 2014 and Kevin McCollum really helped us. He had uh, the rights to the stage musical. And so he knew that we could possibly go to the estates and get the rights. So he and Emma Watts uh, at 20th Century Fox and now part of Disney, uh, they helped us get there and they helped us get in with the estates. And we had a bunch of meetings and they were really not willing to give this movie over to just anyone. And so Stephen had to win him over. And it's interesting. I mean, he's the greatest filmmaker, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, but he, he had to work for it. And they were impressed with what he had to say. They knew after talking to him for a half an hour what his love of the musical was and why he loved musicals so much. And so we had a few meetings with them. There were things that we couldn't change. There were things that we had to work around. And we were in for all of it because we just wanted to make a fantastic musical. I always knew we would cast the film. I, I didn't know that it was gonna take as long as it took. Um, we had 30,000 people come in for all the roles, but specifically for Maria. We knew that getting Maria right was very important for us, and so we, saw Rachel Zegler, and the second we saw Rachel Zegler, we knew she was special. She's standing on 60 years of a musical, and it's got a lot of history, and she knew that she had a lot of work to do, and she did the work, and she did the research, and she was able to make the role her own, and she was able to take Anita to a place that I think audiences are gonna be thrilled to see. The city of New York is a character in the movie, and in order to bring that character to life, we had to really work hard, and we had our line producer getting the locations for us with our UPM, and we had Adam Stockhausen, our production designer, really going to great lengths to make sure that this area of New York looked great, and then if you panned over a little bit, it didn't look so great, and you couldn't use that. And so he, he had to work with Stephen to find great locations and actually camera placement, which was really important. When you have Leonard Bernstein and Stephen Sondheim, you don't need a composer because you've got everything that you need. But you do need a conductor. And John Williams gave us a great gift. He, he said, I know who's gonna conduct this for you. I, I know who you should try to go get, and it's Gustavo Dudamel. And he was so right. Gustavo is the perfect person for this. He's Venezuelan, he comes from a Latinx background, and he, He's, he, he conducted the New York Philharmonic with such energy. I've never seen anything like it. He, he got up and he, he conducted and he was like levitating off the ground as he was getting the, the, uh, the musicians to do mambo. It was, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. The energy in America, it's like, it's like robust and real and it's it's athletic and and it he just brought a different sensibility and a different um life and a life force to this music and it's it's i've never heard anything like it it's just really a beautiful version of west side story